GHB TV. We going for it, y'all. We trying to give y'all what y'all been asking for. People want the breakdown, so I'm giving them the breakdown. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet. We're not going to be all night. Frank Martin versus Jackson Marinez. Never heard of the kid, but guess what? Tough individual. Very tough individual. Um, I believe if he would have had a little bit more time to get ready for this fight, he would have did a lot better than he did. No, no disrespect to Frank Martin. Frank Martin did his thing. And I believe Marinez was ready because even though he got the call, on, on short notice, he didn't start to fade till the eighth round. Um, I believe the first five rounds was real close rounds, back and forth rounds. I even scored some of the rounds even. I scored the first and second round even. Um, it, it, the way it went, it was like if Frank Martin started off early, you know what I mean, then Marinez would finish the round. And if, if, if Marinez started off early, Frank Martin would finish the round. I feel like Frank Martin came out a little hard in the beginning, pressing to the body. You know what I mean? Which I understand because he was in there with a bigger guy and he was trying to slow his man down. Um, that's to be understood. Um, Marinez was just trying to find his way in. Um, he started landing a right hand, I believe, in the second round. And, and he was successful with that right hand throughout the fight. But as we got to the, I believe, six and seven, Things started getting a little rough on on both guys, and it was crazy. It was a crazy fight because it was close each way. But then the breakdown came at seven. Marinez had a good round, but then I guess Derrick James he asked uh, Frank Martin to go ahead and pick it up. Frank Martin came out, picked it up. I mean, and it was it was all she wrote from there. Landed a big shot, landed some big shots, some good combinations in the eighth round. Came out in the ninth round, dropped Marinez. Marinez just couldn't recover. I, I, I believe he was defeated at that point. Um, Frank Martin, what I like about what Frank Martin did was when they got to the 10th round, he came right out and finished his guy. He didn't, you know what I mean? He let him, he didn't let it linger and let, uh, Marinez get himself together and come back and, you know, and possibly upset him. It was, I believe it was a close fight all through from round one to round seven. Um, I believe when they, once they got to eighth round and, and Frank Martin hit that fourth gear, I mean, it was over for Marinez. I mean... But I like that guy, Jackson Marinez. I will be looking for him in the future because I believe that he's definitely, you know what I mean, somebody to be reckoned with, you know what I mean, if he has the proper time to get ready for the fight. Frank Martin, I like Frank Martin, but I think Frank Martin should stay about right where he's at. I don't think he should jump in with anybody too deep just yet. I mean, the right fight could be, could be, you know, good for him, but I don't want to see him jump in too deep at 140 pounds. And I mean, and that's another thing. I think he probably can still make 135 pounds. He came in for 38 for this fight. So that's that's automatically considered a junior welterweight at 140. But, you know what I mean? He 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 looks to be in great shape. Derrick James had him in some great shape. He was strong every round, showing good hand speed. I would like to see a little more head movement with him. And you know what I mean? And also with Marinez, I would like to see him back I would like to see him using his jab um, a lot more, you know what I mean, setting up some shots, combinations, pick his feet up. He kind of dragged his feet a little bit, and that's also where Frank Martin had him beat, you know what I mean, with the footwork. But that was a great fight, but, you know what I mean, all the, all the respect to both men in the world. Um, Frank Martin did his thing, and now he's 16-0, and 12 knockouts. So definitely looking for him in the future, you know what I mean, to be in some great matchups. Um, Showtime, I feel like, did a great job last night. Um, like I said, I'm just getting this YouTube thing going, so you can go ahead and follow me at uh, GHB TV. You can follow me on Instagram at Greg Hackett 86, and also follow me on Facebook at uh, Greg Hackett. And that's it. I appreciate y'all, and you know, respect and love to all those who tap in. Thank you.